So uh, again, I really want to uh, talk about her, but not the thing that you're thinking, where you're probably thinking, man, oh my god, I love doing Dolphin, I love advancing, blah, blah, blah. This is actually for people who want to both play Mei and also another character who coincidentally has a charge move, Leo. I have some advice for people who want to play characters with charges. I hear too much that people are scared to play charge characters because they think they're hard. And what's funny is that y'all meme Mei for being scrubby and Leo for being a gorilla and then we'll turn around and be like, but I can't play them because charges are too hard. I'm gonna help you out here. I'm gonna give you some advice on how to play charge characters. So first the mentality, right? And I'm not talking about like the meme mentality of fucking like, oh my God, she has dolphin, let's do it all day. You need to not be afraid of the charge. Think about it for a sec, right? Le Leo has this move. This is a quarter circle move, right? The quarter circle, two, three, six, quarter circle four, right? His DP is down and then up. So the charge move, just change your mentality. You're not charging. The input is just two directions and then a button. And then you don't even have to like, do like a quarter circle where you have to like do the motion you're already doing the one motion already you literally a charge move is literally one direction plus a button change your mentality and you'll be able to do it that's step number one step number two i'm going to tell you also some ways that you can charge fast because in arx's games the charge uh, i guess it's street fighter 5 guile charge is pretty fast the charge time is another thing i see a lot of things in like youtube comments where people are like there. like how do people do that so um there is actually some charge techniques that you could use in this game this is mostly for new just straight up new players but there's one that if you play fighting games but haven't played strive you don't know so one is when you're blocking you're automatically charging that's actually step number one like i said so when you're holding down back you have access to your your up and your forward at the same time so that is actually trick number one, that you're actually charging way more than you think. Thing number two is you can buffer charges into movement. So we'll go from easy to more difficult, right? So when you back jump, you are holding back, right? You're holding back. So you get a charge. Yay. Okay. Easy. Similarly, when you IED back, you have a charge. You can mix a couple of like, you can do some Dragon Ball style, sick neutral, and then in one of them, you just have a charge in there. Now, one that will be a little bit weirder for you is on forward movement. So the main forward movement you're going to be able to do a charge move on is a forward jump. Because once the game does the forward jump, you can't move like forward or back while you're doing that, right? So during this, you can hold back and move forward while still charging. That one is decently important. Decently, decently important. Then also, basically any button you press you can put a charge in there, right? Any fucking button. So 2S, for example, you can hold down back, boom, easy. You get the up or back, uh, far slash, same thing. Even a four normal. Uh, so generally May, they do this. You have so long to switch back to back and then charge the next one, which is similar to the actual dolphin move itself. Uh, especially like H, the H Dolphin is pretty slow and goes pretty far, so that's a good way to start practicing it, right? So you hold back, you do it, and you go instantly back to back. Let me go to full screen so I can get it for real, for real. Boom, boom. Just like that. Now you can also do that with the S Dolphin, but you have to do it for this one. You have to do like, as soon as you press the button, you got to go back to back. So this one is... Right? It's a little it's a little tight, but the charge time is pretty fast, so you can do that. Now, the last one is the one that if you haven't been playing a lot of Strive, you might not know, is the this dash macro. So you can't you can't really you can you can kinda but not really uh do like a forward dash into dolphin. But uh the real one is you can hold down forward while you're running and it'll keep the run. So you can run at people and do Dolphin. Similarly, Leo, you could dash at DP. I'm kind of not that great at it, though. Uh, I think his charge time is a little bit longer because he can't run as far. Uh, but with May, it's pretty, pretty... It's an option. I can't even say it's really that good because not a lot of people like, use it as an option, but it's just something that exists. It's something that exists. It's, it's, it's something that's way more uh, notable with May because she has a run where Leo does not. 
Uh, okay. Any questions, friends? That was pretty short. Don't be afraid of charge characters. They're not hard to play. A dude was like, I wanted to play Leo, but I don't want to play charge characters where half of Leo's movesets are normal moves. Only his DP is charge. I'm like, okay, so who did you play? And he fucking went to chip. <laughs> he went to chip. And I was like, so you're saying that Leo is too hard for you. You're going to play chip. I don't want that to happen to y'all. So Leo's charge is hard. Leo is charge is literally, bro, it, their charges are just not hard. We, we are ascending now. Charges are not difficult. We we are ascending. We are moving past charges being hard.